we have been waiting for this for three months straight and BSG finally blessed us with an update. What am I talking about? I'm talking about Tarkov's audio. Audio, audio, audio. We're getting spoiled by a big patch 13.04 coming out today. The game is currently down and in three hours we should be able to play the game. And those are the changes coming to the game. Updated NVIDIA DLSS version from 2.5.1 and AMD FSR to version 2.2. Alright, I guess that's a good thing if you use NVIDIA. I don't know if many uh, people use DLSS or AMD FSR. Uh, let me know down in the comments if you do. Uh, configured sound positioning settings on reserve and shoreline. Alright, that's a great thing. I really expect us to have uh, finally at least some sense in the um, in the way of understanding which floor the players are on time to play and test it out whenever the update is out adjusted sound positioning settings on sheets of tarkov good increased the cloud size and spread speed of the small grenades by 30 percent uh that's an interesting change i don't really think it will make people use smokes more but that's a good thing more csgo like type of smokes Added an in-game mail notification system for banned players based on player's report. So this is actually a huge thing. I wasn't expecting it this update, if I'm honest. And whenever you die to the player in the game and you think they're sus, you're gonna report them, right? And if that player gets banned eventually in a day, two, a week, I don't know, a month maybe, you're supposed to get a notification in game. So it's either a proper go like proper gonna be sending us messages that you reported this suspicious player and the player has been banned with a nickname or something similar. So that's a great change. Let's see how it goes. Adjusted the user Ooh, alarm, time to wake up. Adjusted the user interface for placing an offer on the flea market, taking into account the disabling of the barter offers. I guess UI is gonna look a little bit different, but overall uh, we shouldn't really experience any any difficulties or any new stuff. Expanded the area for the quest assessment part 1. This is the quest where you need to kill 20 players on a lighthouse in order to unlock Lightkeeper. And a lot of people have been having problem with that. Um, I'm surprised they didn't say that they also reduced the amount of kills required. Because this is what Nikita mentioned on Reddit. So maybe it's not just the area increase maybe it's also the reduction of the amount of players you need fixes fixed one of the causes of disconnects while loading into the raid the remaining possible causes are being researched and eliminated a lot of people were complaining about disconnects including me um and yeah finally those issues are being focused on and they're being fixed Fixed multiple visual issues with scopes when using dlss fsr of all the versions such as blurriness and artifacts during movement I don't really play with DLSS, so I can't um, tell you much about this. But yeah, once I tried DLSS and I was using I was using a zoomed scope, for example, Voodoo, everything looked very blurry and I instantly turned it off. Fix the indoor fog glow on interchange and reserve. Yes, this is an amazing thing. So I've recently made a post on Twitter. I'm not sure if you've seen it or not, but I've made a post on Twitter about how the game is supposed to look like without fog. And um, here is what I expect it to look like. So this is the interchange with the fog. And this is the same place without, right? Here is the main area with the fog. And without, I'll definitely give interchange a second try. I'm not the biggest fan of the map because of lighting. But hopefully with no fog, it's going to look better. And the same thing applies to reserve. Look at this. So, big, big change. Big fat W. Fix the excessive vegetation sway that occurred during long raids. Alright, I guess it's uh, it happened when it was very windy. Fix the effect of street lighting glow, which flickered when overlapping obstacles. The issue was mostly present on the streets of Tarkov at nighttime. Okay. Fix some texture memory leaks that caused excessive RAM consumption when the game was running for extended periods of time. Alright, memory leakage. Well, one of the reasons for memory leakage is being fixed. Various optimizations and lighting system components. Fix some object calling issues on various locations. Fixed uh, incorrect visuals of some buildings in the background of streets of Tarkov. Fixed incorrect audio system behavior at the first indoor gunshot or explosion. Okay. 
Fix the possibility of incorrect character visuals when trying to operate a stationary weapon by two players at the same time. Fix the ability to install conflicting attachments on some weapons. Alright, so assume this means finally the bugged M4 is getting fixed. That's the one where you are able to install Thor Suppressor as well as the Jailbreak. Those two are physically, physically should not be working together, however you can still assemble this gun in the game. So probably this is the kind of thing that is getting fixed. Fixed incorrect matchmaking behavior after pressing ready while the co-op mode settings interface is open. Um, alright, good thing I guess. Fixed error to 8 when... Oh, when... When falling all QTE stages in the hideout gym. Fixed the issue with loading into the lab in the co-op mode. Fixed the ability to look through some walls on reserve, interchange factory lab and shoreline. Um, uh, people were abusing this thing quite a bit, I've seen some Twitch clips of streamers doing this on purpose, so good thing this is getting fixed. Fixed incorrect player spawn points on Lighthouse and Streets of Tarkov. Mm -hmm. Fixed an issue when loading into online raid after co-op mode raid. Yep, I think there was an issue of people getting kicked out when you load into online raid after co-op mode raid, but I'm sure this is the issue that is getting fixed. Fixed an issue with insurance for an item with enhancement that was previously returned by insurance. Okay. Well, I guess that's a pretty big patch. Probably the biggest fixes patch this year. Um, it's April. April the 4th. And we're finally getting this thing. So, uh, yay. Those are all the news for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna go back to sleep.